Well, with that being said, and honoring people that are that are here with us, you know, Mother's Day is, is almost here. So I want to kick things off by talking about the impact that our own moms have made in our very lives. Selena, let's start with you. Oh, um, <laughs> I thought it was going to be a visual. That's why I was waiting to see. <laughs> I think there's um, going to be a visual. Huh? I think maybe yeah, we'll start. I thought, I thought, oh, okay. Well, I'll just start. Okay. Um, so my mother is Brenda Thompson. We call her Mama Brenda. And um, my mother is super duper strong. She is a speaker. She is, um, you know, she is a motivator. She is um, empowering. She is a leader. Uh, my mother's a Leo. Okay. Um, she is a leader and she is uh, very, very funny, very, very practical. She's got jokes. She's an amazing cook. Um, and my mother was the first black female police commissioner, you know, in, in the city of Harvard right. yeah. in, the United, in the United States though. So there's, she was wow. the first black female commissioner in the United States. There had not been one oh. until her, um, but it was in, she, she was the police commissioner in the city of Harvey. Um, and she was, she did that when my dad was on the road and an entertainer and taking care of three girls. So, wow. um, you know, I look up to my mother in terms of her strength and her tenacity. My mother is very resilient. You know, she's witty, you know, she's, she's a lot of great things. She's giving, you know, always trying to give somebody some, always trying to you know, buy her some. And then the following year, she'd be like, look here, girl, you want to get this? You want to take this? She'll go to the store and buy stuff just to give it away. You know, she's, she's a very giving person. So, um, yeah, my mom's amazing. Um, we're all very tight, very close, my mom and my three sisters. So happy Mother's Day to my mother. I love you. You're an awesome, awesome woman. And, you know, there's not a woman that I know that has gone through as much as she has and is still popping and kicking, kicking, you know, still watch Love and Hip Hop, still know all the trends. <laughs> you know, she watched this show. She know all the shows. She know everything that's going on, like still very sharp. So um, happy Mother's Day to my mom. I love you with all my heart. Love it. Very sweet. Very sweet. Very nice to hear that about your mom. Lisa Ray, let's go to you next. You know, I think that we all going to have something in common here, that our moms are strong. You know, it's something about those old school women that they didn't been through what they've been through. They've lived to tell it. They've lived to be able to tell us some experience and stuff that they went through so they can tell us, I uh-uh, don't you do that no more. I need you to be bigger and better than I was. And you're like, oh, okay. You know, my mom too is a Leo and very strong. And she was behind Mm -hmm. my strong father. That's my mother at the top. That's Kai in the middle and me at the bottom. And I have had my mom with me the whole entire time since I've been in LA. She supported me, you know? But when I think about my mother, I think about I'm really her now because my mother entertained outside of my father having his meetings and stuff. I remember being so many people at the house and her cooking and she's a Mississippi woman. So she's used to putting her foot in the pot and her hand and the elbow. So I definitely know I got that from her. You know, um, she loved to entertain. She loved to be able to be around people. And, and I think that's why I got it from. I love, I'm just a people person, you know, and I'm loving the fact that we are absolutely paying homage to our mothers and all the mothers out there because sometimes when they work our nerves. And I say that because you guys in the world knows that, you know, my mother and I have had some problems and I'm sure I'm not the only one, but Mm -hmm. recently we have been going through it. And I have to remember just how much she's gone through for me and the family, which Mm -hmm. allows me to be and have more patience now, because just like the Bible says, you know, once an adult, twice a child. And so she's getting Mm -hmm. to that age now where I am now being able to show her I can take care of you just like you took care of me. I had to wrap my head around that. And it took me a minute to be able to do so. I am all the way there now because when I look at my mom now and she's older, she's not moving as fast as she used to. She's not thinking on top of her game the way she used to. And she's not supposed to because she's older and the things that she's gone through. So I want to say thank you to my mother. I want to say thank you for being strong and showing me how real kick-ass women do it. And I'm a chip off the old block of her and my father. So, you know, mom, happy Mother's Day. I love you from the beginning and to the end, to the back, to the back, to the middle and around again. <laughs> I'm going to love you to the end 100%. Come on now. <laughs> mom, love. There you go. Okay. <laughs> very nice. Very so nice. Don't give you a jingle. Okay. Right? Okay. Okay. Vivica, last but not least. <laughs> 
second to last, but not least. Um, oh, Claudia, why don't you go? Let's talk about your mom and then I can wrap it all up. All right. All right. Uh, my mother, um, uh, my mom's name is Teresa. I call her Mother Teresa because she's like that. You know, growing up, I used to see my mom give away so much stuff, money, um, whatever we had. And we didn't really grow up with much. Once my parents got divorced, it was a struggle. My mother's mm-hmm. an immigrant. There's a side by side picture of us when she was in her 20s and I was in my 20s. Yeah. And, uh, you know, she married a black man in 1971. It had just become legal in 1968. So I just think about how much of a rebel my mother was back then. You know what I mean? Like you forget, like she was going up against a, like a lot of people that were not for that. And then the us kids in the neighborhoods we grew up in, a lot of times there was a lot of pushback. A lot mm-hmm. of neighbors, neighborhoods didn't want this mixed family, this black man, this white woman to move into their cities. And, and they really made it very um, obvious. You know what I mean? And my mother didn't show the stress that I know she had to have because she left her entire family in Italy to be with my father. And, and then once I got divorced, she could have gone back to Italy and been with her family. But she stayed because she's like, no, I want you to be close to your family. I want you to know that side. And so I got to give my mom props. Like I, she's the most selfless woman I know. Um, give you the shirt off her back, never buys anything for herself ever. Like that lady, I'm like, you're just, she's truly here for everybody else. You know what I mean? And I remember, like I said, growing up, I felt like everyone used to take advantage of her. Like I was like, I'll never be like that when I get older. But of course, that's not how it turns out. <laughs> but um, yeah, I, I want to give my mom much props for um, the sacrifices she made when my father, I mean, when money wasn't there for my brother in college, I remember finding out later on my mother actually sold our living room furniture to get books for my brother so he can go to college. I wasn't aware of that until I was like much older. And I'm like, damn, mom, she never complains. She never tells anyone that she just makes it happen and found a way. I didn't know our yeah. financial situation, but I know my mother on her dime brought us to Italy six times so I could know my family over there too. So she's dope. She's everything. I mean, we don't have a lovey-dovey, love you, love you relationship, but she shows it in actions. So shout out to Teresa Fiore Jordan uh, uh, for all that she sacrificed for me. And I wish as an Italian mother, you can cook better, but you're a great cleaner. I'll tell you that. (laughs) Claudia, Uh, what's your mother's maiden name? Fiore Flower. Fiore? Fiore? Yeah. Yep. Yep. She worked on the Air Force Base in Italy, and that's where she met my dad. It's like that movie, Red Tails. So yeah. And Vivica Fox. We will end it with you. Let's get to Evelina Fox House to close it out. Uh, this strong woman from West Point, Mississippi. Wow. Uh, who literally almost raised four kids by herself. Her and my father separated uh, when I was four years old. And I saw Evelina work two jobs to make sure that she provided for us until she landed a really good job at Eli Lilly, which is one of the biggest pharmaceutical companies in Indianapolis. And let me tell you, this woman ruled with an iron fist. When you guys wonder why I got such a strong personality, why I'm such a worker bee, I got it from that woman right there. She's older right now, but we are making sure that we sacrifice and do everything we can to love her, and make sure that she's comfortable. As Lisa Ray said, you know, our parent in the Bible it says, uh, once an adult, twice a child. We're going through that chapter where we're making sure that we provide for our mother. We're not putting her anywhere, you know, um, a way that someone else can take care of her. If the one thing that all of us can show tonight as strong queens is that you guys take care of your mother love your mother. This is the one woman that brought you into the world. Do your best. If you have your differences, because Evelina gets on my nerves too, like Lisa <laughs> said, her and her mama does, but I wouldn't be who I am as Vivica Fox without Evelina House Fox. Um, happy Mother's Day, mother. More flowers, more all kinds of gifts is going to be coming your way this week. I love you. I know mm-hmm. it's a tough week for you because your baby sister's gone, but I am proud to be your daughter. That was very beautiful, Vivica. I actually, all three of you, really beautiful stuff. And know what I just noticed, Vivica, I don't know what sign your mom is, but Lisa Ray, Selena, and myself all have Leo mothers. My mom's August 19th. We have Leo mothers. Is your mom a Leo too? No. Can I tell you the craziest part? I'm a Leo. My mom was a Pisces. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> wow. Okay. Well, you know what? We all have fiery, strong mothers that made us the women that we are. That's we can why we can sit here every Monday at Cocktails with Queens and deliver like we, we can because of our moms. And with that being said, we are going to uh, celebrate another uh, amazing mom when we come back after the break. You don't want to miss this. Cynthia Bailey, I would say from the Royal Housewives of Atlanta, but she's doing so much more. Sister Girl is booked and busy since leaving that show. We have a lot to talk about with her when we come back right after the break. <laughs> 